The pipeline mock example is a stencil within the Promex property stencils. You can see in my list down here. And what this stencil is going to allow us to do is quickly calculate the mock number of our flow through any pipeline block. Additionally, this can calculate for us how much flow would fit through that pipeline, uh, meaning at what point we would choke and our mock number would equal one. Let me go ahead and illustrate that for you. First, at the very top of my simulation here, I have a 100 foot long pipe, and it's a three inch pipe. I want to calculate how much flow will go through this pipe at 200 pounds and 80 degrees coming in um, before this pipe chokes. And to do so, I'm just going to come over to my stencil and drag this out onto my page above my pipeline. And you'll see that when I drop it on the page, it asks me to select which pipeline I'm referring to. To do that, I can grab the little tail here below, and I'm going to connect this right where my energy stream is connected to the pipeline. As soon as I do that, we'll see that my pipeline is unsolved. If I re-execute the flow sheet, we'll see that at this point it's iterating on the flow to determine what flow rate uh, will achieve a Mach number of 1 through this pipeline. Okay, and we can see that now that is solved and our total flow came out to be 23.7 million standard cubic feet per day as opposed to the 12 million we originally started with. And so this stencil has calculated that flow for us. In many other cases we don't want to calculate a flow, we just simply want to know what our Mach number is inside of a pipeline. I can do that say here on pipe number one. Let me drag out another stencil above that pipe. And in this case, before I connect the pipe, since I don't want the solver to be created, I'm going to double click on this box instead. When I double click on the box, this window will appear. And among other things, we'll see our target mock number. And so this is where that target is set at one. If you did want to put a solver but wanted to aim for a lower mock number, you could change this value. If I want to turn the solver off, right here where it says true, I'm going to double click. I can change this to false. Okay. Now when I click OK, I can come back and connect the tail to pipe one. And we'll see that it doesn't put a solver in place. It's simply just calculating the mock number at this point. You can do this again for as many pipes as you want. If it's for a pipeline where the inlet flow is calculated by Promax, that means a solver isn't applicable anyways. And so in that case, you wouldn't need to open this up. You could just connect it directly to the pipeline and have it calculate that mock number for you. But that's how this pipeline mock example stencil works.